All right, everybody, this is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part two of our Christmas ornament tutorial. In this part, we will focus primarily on the cloth simulation and how to get this sort of um, crunched up cloth here below our ornaments. So let's um, begin. So the first thing we want to do is go here and make a plane in our uh, top viewport should be fine. And we want the plane to have a width of right around mm, about 675 should do. And we can make the length quite long, okay? Now what we want to do is convert that to an editable poly here. And just take these and bring these up in sort of kind of a, a U shape. All right, now we're actually going to grab this edge here and just shift drag it. Oops, watch out. Grab all these edges and shift drag them just to get an extra edge there. And then we can sort of just make our shape. All right, this is uh, for the cloth simulation and for rendering. So apply a turbo smooth modifier here and give it two iterations. Perfect. Uh, you can sort of move your ornament out of the way right now. We won't be using it at the moment. All right, and then we want to just drag these ones a little bit farther back. Okay, just to get kind of a, a smooth, smooth space right there. Okay, perfect. Now what we want to do is go into our splines and create a rectangle here in the top view as well. And this rectangle is going to be about, oh, I don't know, let's say a thousand in length by about 500 in width. Okay, and just position it right above our scene here. All right, now let's apply a garment maker. Now you be very careful because this uh, density will change drastically. So we're going to do about oh, 0.41 or so. It should be good for our simulation purposes. All right, make sure you save your scene now when you're working with cloth because it does have a tendency to crash. So apply a cloth modifier and then go to object properties and you want to add your plane in that we created. Okay. Now for your plane, you want to make that a collision object and for your rectangle, you want to make that, which is your cloth, and we'll go with satin. Okay, uh, now that we have those set up, um, what we need to do is just simply hit simulate local and our cloth will fall here. And hopefully it'll, there we go, it'll collapse in on here and bam, let's stop simulate local. Now we have all these ridges and whatnot. Okay, so let's go and apply an edit poly. Okay, and then let's apply a shell modifier. Now the reason we do this, and we're going to give an out of outer amount of about four, is just so we sort of get some separation here. Okay, then do your turbo smooth modifier, and we can give that about two turbo smooths. So now we get kind of this, you know, sort of wavy cloth shape. And if it intersects, all you have to do is just drag it up just a bit so you don't get any intersection there. And that is how we simulate the cloth. So let's just um, position, you know, our ornament sort of in the cloth somewhere. You can nestle it in, uh, find a good place for it. All right, and there we go. So in the next part, uh, we will begin with some of the um, camera setup. All right, see you then.